What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a 50 minute full body reformer Pilates workout. If we've not met before, hi, I'm Margaret, I'm 27 and I'm a certified Pilates instructor. Today's workout is going to be circuit style and if you have a set of medium weights, go ahead and grab onto those. My medium weights are 10 pounds. If you have any weights, really just grab onto those. If you don't have them, don't worry about it. You'll be just fine moving through this workout without them. We'll go ahead and get started. Put one red spring on your machine or one full spring, one heavy spring, whatever you've got. Foot bar is all the way down and out of the way. Headrest is down. And then if you have the ability to take the shoulder blocks off of your machine, I would take them off. If you can't take them off, you'll kind of see what I mean as we get into things. So if you need to make adjustments, um, you'll know what to do when we get there. If you have medium-ish dumbbells, grab those and we'll get into things. Let's find a seated position on our carriage facing the back of the machine. Both feet can come onto your headrest. I want you to take your hands so they come just behind the hamstrings. Open out through the elbows nice and wide. Press your chest forward. Roll the shoulders down and back. Reach the crown of the head up. We'll take four deep breaths from right here. Big inhale to fill the body up with air. And then we'll exhale out. Let everything go. For three, big inhale. And then we can exhale out, let it go. We'll go for two. And then last one. And we'll just take a couple of roll downs. Once you're ready, big inhale up at the top. Exhale, we draw in from the belly button. Get a little bit lighter through the hands. Roll about halfway down. Inhale right there and then exhale, pulling from the center of the body. You'll roll yourself right back up to seated. Come on out of that C curve. For three more, we inhale at the top. Exhale, we'll draw in from the belly button. You roll things down about halfway. Inhale there and then exhale, take it right back up. Good, we'll go for two. And then last one. Good, take everything right back up and I'm gonna walk you through the first three exercises that we're doing in our first circuit. This is gonna be a circuit workout, so this, it's gonna be pretty structured. So just stick with me, I'll walk you through the whole thing. For our first series, we're doing three core exercises. I want you to grab onto your long loops, step into your long loops like you're putting on a pair of pants. The long loops will come just about an inch, maybe two inches above the knees. Once you get there, you'll scoot your butt forward and then lay all the way down onto your machine. Legs will come to tabletop, hands will come behind the head, you'll open up through the elbows. Exercise Exercise one, we're doing crisscross. You'll pull the right knee in, twist left armpit to the right knee, take it through center, and then do the same thing in the other direction. Take it through center. We'll get a 20 second rest, and then we go into exercise two. Building off of crisscross, we'll twist over towards the right, pause, kick the leg up, reach the hand, bring it back in, switch through center, kick it up, reach the hand. Take it through center. Exercise three, again, we're building off of crisscross. We'll twist over towards the right. You'll kick up and reach, pause. You'll switch the legs. You'll switch the legs. So the right leg comes back up, bend and bend, and then twist over to the other side. Those will be our three exercises. We'll do them one time through, then we'll get into our upper body series, and then we'll come back to these three exercises, okay? I will move with you for as long as I can, as long as I can. Oh, if you can't take your shoulder blocks off, no worries, just scoot your butt up pretty close to the shoulder blocks. And if this starts to become a little bit too much, you always have the option to ditch your long loops. That's definitely always an option. Sometimes this positioning can be a little bit tricky. I will say right up at the top, it burns out kind of quick. So don't hesitate to make adjustments. Do whatever you feel like you need to do. We'll go ahead and get started with exercise one. We just have five, four, three, two, 
and one. Big exhale, crunch up through head, neck, and shoulders. We're twisting left armpit to right knee. We'll take a nice slow switch through center. Having the resistance where it's at forces us to move a little bit slower. It might not be your favorite pace, but it's the pace that we're going. And it especially might not be your favorite pace with a bicycle crunch. Good, but it forces you to slow down. It forces you to maintain stability in the hips. Good, we're more than halfway there. Good. Okay, if you need to drop your head down, go ahead and drop your head down. Just move through the legs, take out the rotation. It's always right about here that I'm like, maybe this was a bad idea. We have five. Four, three, two, and one. Bring everything in. Let your head go down. Hug your knees into your chest. If you're letting your head drop down towards the back edge of your carriage, just be mindful of the springs that you don't get your hair caught in an open spring. <laughs> I say it jokingly, but it happens. Okay, we're going into exercise two. We just have three, two, and one. Knees go back up above the hips, hands come back behind the head. We crisscross over towards the right, you pause, kick the right leg up, reach the left hand up, bend the knee, bend the elbow, and then switch it through center. Same thing on the left, kick and reach, bring it in, switch it over to the right. Kick and reach, pull it home, and then take a switch. Kick and bend, switch it on over. Just about halfway there. This one moves a little bit, I'll say faster. It's just because the exercise takes up a little bit more time. So it may trick your mind and make you feel like it's taking up less time. It's not. <laughs> one minute is one minute is one minute. <sighs> All right, we just have about five, four, three, two, and one, everything can come in. Drop your head back, hug your knees in, take a deep breath. Whew. Okay, one more exercise here and then we're taking off these long loops. We'll grab onto our medium weights and get into our first upper body series. We just have three, two, and one. Knees up above the hips, we're twisting over towards the right knee. You kick and reach, pause right there, hold the upper body. You're going to scissor switch the legs. Left leg comes up, right leg goes down. Switch again, bend the knee, bend the elbow, and then twist it over to the other side. Kick and reach, you'll switch the legs, switch the legs, bend the elbow, bend the knee, twist it through center. Kick and reach, switch the legs, switch the legs, whoo, and then we switch. We're more than halfway there, that's the good news. Bad news is I'm going to make you do this again. Oops, scissor switch and switch. We just have five, four, three, two, and one, everything comes in. We're gonna move as quickly as we can, bringing ourselves up, sliding the long loops off of our legs and placing them on to our pegs. From here, grabbing onto your medium weights, we're going to straddle the carriage and we'll go right into a shoulder press. We have four, three, two, and one. That was pretty quick, good job me. Weights come up towards the shoulders, you're tucking the tailbone under, pressing into the backs of your hips. You'll open your elbows out towards the sides of the room, press up, bring it down, and then close the elbows. You open up, press, pull, and then take it home. So we're rotating open through the shoulder, pressing those weights up overhead, and then taking it back in. Good. Okay, we're more than halfway. And I know my heart rate's gonna get up much quicker because of the weights, okay? So if your heart rate gets up a little bit too much and you need a moment, take a moment. Whew. We just have about 10 seconds, okay? So keep sticking with me. We have four, three, two, 
And one, everything comes in, take a second, take a breath. The good news about, or not the good news, but the good part about this part of our class is that the carriage is not moving. We're just focusing on the heavier weights. Okay, next exercise, weights come to the shoulders. We're going to press up one arm at a time in three, two, and one big exhale. We press that right side up, bring it in. Left side goes up. We take it in, you keep moving up and in, up and in. Good. Good, and we'll just check in with the rest of the body. If you start to feel like you're arching at your back, we'll try to readjust. Imagine that you're seated right up against a wall. Good, it's gonna be a little bit shoulder heavy today. Hope that's okay. Press up, bring it down. We have just about 20 more seconds. Good, can you anchor down a little bit more into the hips? Can you press down a little bit deeper into the heels? All right, it's five, four, three, two, and one. Everything comes in, and we'll put those two exercises together. Opening up through the shoulders, we'll press up, pull down. You press up on the right, up on the left, and then we go right back in. All right, it's five, four, three, two, and one. Weights come to the shoulders. You're going to open the elbows out. Press up, bring it down, right arm goes up, left arm goes up. And you keep moving like that. Open up through the elbows, press up, take it down, close the elbows, up and up. And we'll keep moving from there. We have about 35 seconds, so just keep it moving. If you need to pause, pause. I'm not giving you a whole lot of time to break. Okay. And after this exercise, we're laying back down on the carriage. We're going back into that first core series. I'm confident that's exactly what you wanted to hear. All right. Just about 10 seconds. Keep moving through it. We have five, four, three, two, and one, we can put our weights off to the sides. And then as quickly as you can, if you need to pause for a second, pause. We'll grab back onto our long loop, scooting the hips forward. You'll step into the long loop again. So it comes just about an inch or two above the knees. We'll lay all the way down. We have crisscross in three, two, and one. I'm strategically taking so much time to lay down. Knees up above the hips, hands behind the head, open up through the elbows. Let's start over towards the left this time. Pulling the left knee in, twisting right armpit to the knee. We'll switch it through center. Right knee pulls in, left armpit to knee. We switch through center and we'll switch through center. Now, same things we talked about on the first go round. If the resistance becomes too much, just ditch it. Take the long loops off, move through this same exact exercise. Huh. If you need a second, you take a second. Take a second. We're twisting to the left and we're twisting to the right for just about 15 more seconds. I don't know if it's better or worse the second time around. We have four, three, two, and one, everything comes in, hug your knees in, let your head go down. Okay, we continue to build off of that. So this is crisscross version two. <laughs> uh, and if you need more time, you take more time. A minute is a long time to be in these exercises. We just have three, two, and one. Knees up above the hips, hands behind the head. We'll twist, oh, we twist it over towards the left. You're going to kick and reach. Pull it back in and then twist over towards the right. Kick and reach, pull it in, twist it over. Kick and reach, bring it home, twist it over. And we'll just keep moving like this. Good. Okay, we're halfway there.
I like don't have any more words to say. Just keep moving, keep breathing, keep breathing. That is the key. If you feel like it's pulling into your low back, take a moment, pause, maybe ditch the resistance. We just have five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Hug your knees in, let your head go back. Again, being mindful of the spring, that your hair doesn't get caught in the spring. All right, we're going back in crisscross. Version three, we're starting over towards the left in three, two, and one. I was a little bit slower than the timer. Hands come behind the head, we twist to the left. You kick and reach, pause. Switch the legs, switch the legs, bend the knee, bend the elbow, take it back around through center. Kick and reach, switch the legs, switch the legs, Bend the knee, bend the elbow. Take it back to the left. We go up. We'll switch. You'll get a little bit of a pull from the resistance. That's okay. Switch it over. Kick and reach. We'll switch and switch. Oh, it's about 10 more seconds. So we'll probably get through like one and a half reps. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Everything comes in. If you need a second, you're just gonna take it. When you're ready, you're coming all the way up, sliding the long loops off, and we'll flip towards the front of the machine, coming into a low kneeling position. You have short loops or long loops in your hands, okay? All right. Okay, timer already went off. First thing we're gonna do is serve the tray. So sit back, hips to heels, stack the shoulders on top of the hips. You're sitting up nice and tall. It's an exhale, you lift the arms up. Inhale, you bend the elbows, take it right back down. You lift up and lower down. If you feel like you can do a little bit more, you're lifting up as you lift up onto the knees and then bending at the elbows as you pull things home. Good. I just have to look over my shoulder at the timer. I did not prepare for that one very well. Whoops. Good. Just about 15 seconds. You're taking this wherever you feel like you need to. If the red spring is too much, let it go. Let it go. We have five, four, three, two, and one, everything comes in. Take a second, take a breath. Next exercise, we're doing triceps, overhead triceps press. Little hinge forward from the hips, your hands will interlace together towards the crown of your head. All right, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Little hinge forward from the hips. Hands are going to come together over your head. You can interlace the fingers. Take an inhale, bend the elbows, lowering the hands down towards the nape of your neck. Exhale, pressing up on that high diagonal. Now here, I want you to be really mindful of what's going on in your lower back. If you start to feel an arch, we've gone a little bit too far. If you need a little bit less, you're either grabbing for the long loops or you're gonna change out that spring load. I think I'm gonna go long loops. If you feel like you can do a little bit more, you'll separate the hands and you'll press up one at a time. It's not something that I feel like I can do today. <laughs> but if you want to, go ahead and try it. I have a hard time with triceps, I really do. All right, we just have five, four, three, two, and one, take everything in, take a second, take a breath. Next exercise, we're keeping this little hinge forward. Your arms come to W, we're going W to V, or Y. I think it's W to Y. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Maintain this hinge forward, drawing in from the center of the body. We go W, press up to Y. Pull it into W. Press it up to Y. And just be mindful of what's happening through the back side of the body. If you feel like you're arching, you've gone a little bit too far. <sighs> 
Every time you pull the elbows in towards your sides, I want you to really think about actively squeezing from underneath the armpits to use the strength of your lats to bring things in. Also, sorry that I'm stopping and starting so much. If you, um, if you really follow me on Instagram and you know watch the vlog and all of those things, I'm recovering from a sinus infection. So was this the best idea today? Probably not, but I'm feeling okay. Just gotta build back up to where I was. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Everything comes in. Go ahead and hang up those long loops. Um, we're changing up the springs. One medium spring and then grab onto both of your weights. We're going to hop up onto our platform and get into a forward facing lunge with the left foot forward. Okay, that was pretty quick. We have three, two, and one, left foot forward, right foot goes back. You're up high onto your right toes. It's an inhale as we lower down into our lunge, letting the weights frame your left leg. You'll press into the heel. You come up to stand as you pull the weights towards the shoulders and press up overhead. We'll bring the weights down. We go back to lunge and then bring everything right back in. <sighs> Good. If you feel like you can do this on a heavier spring, by all means, go back to the red. Originally, I felt like we could do this all on a red, but then I got into this and I was like, eh, I don't know. I just don't know. Good. We have about 10 seconds right here. Good. For three, two, and one, bring everything up. Take a second, take a breath. We're moving through that one more time. So we're doing four exercises two times through on each leg. Okay, that gives you a little bit of time to get familiar. We have five, four, three, two, and one. We're going down to lunge, framing the left leg, pressing into the heel. You come up to stand, pulling weights to the shoulders, pressing up overhead. We bring it down. You can hinge forward at the hips. That's what I like to do. Press into the heel using the glute and the hamstring. You press it back up. Good. And we just keep breathing. Just keep moving through it. We're more than halfway there. Good. I'm hoping my hands don't get cut out of the frame, but I think that they are. Sorry. <laughs> we have three, two, and one. Everything is going to come in. Take a second. Take a breath, okay? We're just going to put our weights off to the side. You can put them on either edge of your platform. We're coming back down into our lunge and taking a scooter through our right leg in five, four, three, two, and one. We take it low into our lunge. Find that spot that's comfortable and you can maintain. Pressing down into your heel, we take that right leg, you pull it in, and then press it out. Good. You'll bring it in and press it out. If you feel like you could do more, you can always grab onto your weights and just hold them. You could also hold them up by the shoulders. I'm opting to not do either of those things. But hey, if you wanted to, I'm all about it. I would love to see you challenge yourself. Good, okay, maybe you can get a little bit lower into the left leg. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, it's okay either way. Remember, we're doing this two times through, so you've got a little bit of time. We have five, four, three, two, and one. We'll come all the way up to stand, taking a second, taking a breath. We're just moving through that one more time, okay? And then I'm gonna have to turn away from you. I did not plan this well. <laughs> My bad, everybody. We're coming back down into that lunge. We have four, three, two, and one. We take it down. 
okay? Left glute's probably burning out a little bit. That's okay. Pull the right leg in. Press it right back out. Good, you're driving back through the right heel, trying to maintain length through the back of the body, maintain length from the tailbone up to the shoulders, all the way up to the crown of your head. Press it back. Pull it in. Are you still pressing into your left heel? Could you maybe press into it a little bit more? Good. Could you put some weight into your big toe and into the outside edge of your foot? That answer is yes. It's always yes. Good. Out and in. Go out and in. Just about 15 seconds right here. So keep moving. Keep breathing. Good. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Everything is going to come in. You're going to spin towards the right, grabbing back onto your weights. This one will take a single leg squat, shifting the weight over into the left leg. You'll pull things up, pulling weights to the shoulders, and I'll have to look over my shoulder each time. We have four, three, two, and one. We sit down and back into our squat, reaching the weights down, hinging forward at the hips. You press into the heel, just pull the weights up to your shoulders. And I need to scoot over just a little bit to give myself some room. We'll go down and then bring it up. Good, reach it down and then bring it up. Good, if the weights become too much, they are the first thing to go and we're about halfway there. Good. I did not realize how much I would be moving around the machine and needing the timer before I set the timer up in the spot that I have it. My B. All right, it's about 15 more seconds, so we just keep going. Go down, take it up. Good, just four, three, two, and one. Everything comes in. You can take a second, take a breath. We're moving through that one more time on this side. And then we get to put the weights off to the side to do a little magical interlude before we hit the other leg. <laughs> It'll be so magical. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Same exact exercise. We go down and back into the left leg, stand things up. You pull the weights to the shoulders. So it's almost like a, I'm gonna call it a bicep curl. Is it technically? It can be. For our, for our class today, it'll be a bicep curl. We reach it down, pull it in. <sighs> All right, I knew this class was gonna be sweaty. I did not anticipate it would be this sweaty. <sighs> okay, 25 seconds. We keep it moving, keep it going. Oh my gosh, whew, okay. We just have about five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and put your weights down off to the side. Whew, take a second, take a breath, okay? This time we're gonna move through a skater. Coming down into the left leg, you'll skate out through the right. In five, four, Three, two, and one. Take it down into a squat, shifting your weight over into your left leg. We'll skate out through the right leg and then pull it back in. Out and in. If you'd like to grab onto one of your weights, totally go for it. I'm not going to do it, so it's not something I'm going to force you to do. Out and in. This whole time we're keeping the movement through the right leg, not shifting anything on the left side. So it's like I'm slicing you in half. The whole left side of your body is staying still. Good. We're creating instability on the right side and then asking the left side to stabilize. That's all it is. Just about 15 seconds. Keep moving with me. Can you get a little bit lower? Good. All right. It's just about five, four, three, two, 
and one. Everything comes up. We're moving through that one more time, okay? And then we'll make our way down for a little bit of a core, um, a core change up. We just have four, three, two, and one. We take it down to squat, shifting your weight over into the left leg, right leg skates out, and then pulls in. We go out and in. Good, out and in, out and in, perfect. Ooh. I like I can't even talk. This is so challenging. I'm a little bit nervous for what the what this class is going to be like on the mat. <laughs> a little bit nervous. <sighs> good. Just 20 seconds right here and then we pull everything in. You're doing so good. Push it out. Take it in. Good. Out and in. Oh, my butt is going to fall straight off. Okay, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Everything comes in, take a moment, take a breath. Both feet are going to step towards the back of your machine onto your platform. We'll make our way down to the carriage and you can decide if you want to have your hands down or your forearms down. I think I'm gonna go forearms down. We're just pulling the carriage in and out by bending through the knees. Timer already went off, so whenever you're ready, Go ahead and go for it. I'm like, uh, uh, okay, we can do this. We press it out. We'll exhale, bend the knees, scoop through the lower abs, pull the carriage in. We press it out. You'll take it in. Now, sometimes for me, I like to go on a lighter spring for core work. I know that's a little bit uh, crazy. It's a little bit crazy in the Pilates world, but like for me, I like a yellow spring for stuff like this. So if you're feeling so inclined to change it, you totally could. Always remember though, a lighter spring or decreased resistance, it does not make anything easier. Actually in a core exercise like this, it makes it much more challenging. Okay, we have 10 seconds right here. We'll pull things in and we take that whole thing from the top, now hitting the right leg. We just have three, two, and one. Now, if you're like me and you change the spring, make sure that you change it back. Okay. Very carefully in your own time, you'll make your way back up towards um, your platform. We'll grab onto our weights. This time, right foot stays forward, left foot goes back. We have three, two, and one. Okay. Left foot reaches back, roll the shoulders down and back. You've got weights in your hands. We're pressing that left leg back as we hinge forward from the hips, reaching the weights down. You'll press into the right heel. We come up to stand, weights go to the shoulders. You'll press up overhead. We bring it back down. You hinge and reach, press into the heel. You'll pull it right back up. Good, and we'll just continue to move through this, to breathe through this as best we can. If the weights become too much, they are the first thing to go. Good, Whew. I need gloves, my hands get so sweaty, my Lord. We have five, four, three, two, and one, go ahead and take things in. If you wanna put your weights off to the side for a moment, put them off to the side, okay? Remember, it's 20 seconds in between each, uh, each minute of work, so we have a little bit of time. <laughs> you have time to do what you need to do, okay? We'll get back into things, same exact exercise. Timer has already gone off. <laughs> That's the thing, well, like circuit classes on the reformer, I just, I cannot talk fast enough to be able to really get us through, but that's okay. Sometimes we need those extra breaks. And when I say like we, I mean me. Sometimes I need those extra breaks. But how's this for a full body workout, right? Okay, we're more than halfway there. 
sometimes I get in moods where I just, I really like to use my heavier weights. And of course, for me, 10 pounds is kind of heavy. This is like pretty much my max weight for just about everything, just because I don't really care to lift heavier than this. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Everything can come in. Again, you can put your weights off to the side. We're moving through a scooter, moving through the left leg, staying stable in the right. Whew. All right, it's five, four, three, two, and one. We'll press it back to lunge, press down into your right heel. It's an exhale as we pull in through the left side. Inhale, you can reach it back. Now I'm gonna go hands at my hips or sometimes I like hands at the lower back just a little bit. I've been like extra mindful lately of what's happening in the backside of my body, in my spine, in my upper back. Um, I don't know, I think I did, I did something weird to my back. I don't know why, I don't know when, I don't know how, but I've been super mindful of that. So if you have, if you have any tension really in your low back, you just readjust. You don't have to be down super low. You don't have to be hinged forward very far. It's a tiny movement no matter how you take it. Always remember, it's not about having the biggest range of motion. It's, with, it's about moving with the most control. Good, we just have about five, four, three, two, and one. We'll take everything in, take a moment, take a breath. I should have worn socks. Gosh, it's a sweaty one for me. Are you guys doing okay? I don't know if I am. <laughs> okay, we go back in, same exact exercise, scooter through the left leg in three, two, and one. Sometimes I like the circuit workouts though. It's like, I feel like knowing when things are going to end and knowing that we have like a time frame on something makes me feel like things move quicker. They probably don't, but I don't know. Good, just keep moving like this. You've got it. We press it back and then bring it in. Good, now what's going on with the right leg? Is it moving or have you been able to stabilize it? Hopefully it is the latter option. Good, we're going out. Oh, and in. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We just have, oh, about five, four, three, two, and one. Everything comes up, take a second, take a breath. I'm turning towards you. We'll get into our single leg squat, keeping our weight supported on that right side. <sighs> Grabbing back onto the weights if my hands can handle it. The timer's probably gonna go off before I'm ready. So if you're ready to go, you can get right into it. We'll take an inhale, sit down and back into the right hip, reaching your weights down. You'll stand things up and then bicep curl the weights towards the shoulders. We reach it down and then we'll pull it in. Good. Uh, I don't know if I can do it on this side with the weights. It's becoming a little bit too much for me. So I'm going to put my weights off to the side, but you're welcome to keep using them. You're more than welcome to. I just feel I'm pulling me around a little bit. So that's how I know it's time to quit. When I can no longer be in control, that is the biggest indication to me that it's time to make an adjustment. Good. Every time we go down into our right leg, it's like you're sitting down and back into a chair, trying to tap your butt cheek down. We have three, two, and one. Bring everything in. Take a second. Take a breath. Are you sweaty? I'm sweaty. Truly, I'm nervous for how this class is going to go on the mat. <laughs> I think it's just going to be a sweaty circuit week. We have four, three, two and one we take it down and back into our right leg press into the heel you come up to stand now just like we talked about on the other side or even like we talked about on this side it's not about getting down into your deepest squat i don't care how low you can go into a squat that's not what's important to me 
it's important that you can stabilize your right leg while moving through your left leg. Good. Because as we move throughout our day, we don't always have even weight distribution through both of our legs. So it would be wild, it would be silly to train that way, right? It's much more functional for us to train single side like this. Good. All right, it's just about 10 seconds. If you're still using your weights, good on you. I'm proud of you. I set that challenge forward for you and you are doing it. We have three, two, and one, take everything in. Okay, it's three more exercises and then we get to feet in straps. That's the good news. Bad news is it's three more exercises, okay? We're coming back down into our right leg. You'll skate out and in through the left. The timer will probably go off before I'm ready, so you go when you're ready, okay? It's a minute of work, even if you don't do the full minute. We'll take it down and back. Shift your weight into your right leg, take an exhale, press out on that left side, inhale, pull it in. You could even do an inhale, press the leg out, exhale, pull it in. It's totally up to you, out and in. Just be mindful, what's going on on the right side? Is this right hip starting to pull away from you and shift over the springs? If it is, if you just did that, if you followed me, you've gone too far. <laughs> Good. Again, sorry for the sniffles. It's not me, it's the sinus infection. <laughs> oh, the things I do for my YouTube career. All right, we just have five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stand everything up. Take a moment, take a breath. Okay, we're moving through that skater one more time. We have one more core exercise, the same exact one we did before, and then it's feet and straps. All right, when you're ready, we have four, whew, two, and one. We sit down and back into our squat, shifting your weight into your right leg. Inhale, you push out through the left side. Exhale, you pull it back in. It's an inhale, you press out. Exhale, you take it back in. Good, you go out and in, out. And in, can you maybe get a little bit lower in the right leg? Can you sit your hips down and back a little bit further? I'm lucky I've got a mirror right here so I can actually see what's happening. I'm not usually that lucky. Good, and we're more than halfway there. See, easy peasy. Good. Okay, can we get a little bit lower in the right side? You totally can. We just have five, four, three, two, and one. Everything comes up. Take a moment, take a breath, okay? You have as much time as you need to make your way down to the carriage. You'll find your plank, however it's comfortable. Hands, forearms, you can bring the knees to the platform. We're moving through that same exact movement, just a knee pull, pulling the knees in, pressing them back out. The timer's gonna go off, okay? If you need a second, take it because I'm gonna take it too, <laughs> okay? Ooh. Okay, here we go. This is the point where my feet are like, I don't know if we can do this anymore. I'm gonna pop onto a yellow spring. You see how much I'm like procrastinating this? I'm like, okay, can I waste 20 extra seconds? <laughs> the answer is yes, I can. Okay, big exhale, we bend the knees, you pull the carriage in. Inhale, you reach it back out, and just like that, we're halfway there. Big exhale, we take it in. Inhale, you'll reach it out. Good, now for me, my hands get a little bit sweaty. That's how you know it's summer. That's how you know it's summer when your hands cannot physically grip onto the reformer anymore. <sighs> Good, okay, it's just about 10 seconds. Can you give me a couple more? I don't even, I don't think I can do it. Big exhale, we pull it in. Good, inhale, reach it out. Good, okay, timer went off. When you're ready, pull everything in and we'll swap out those springs. If you're still on your medium spring, awesome. I love it. Let's add on a red spring. And then if you did take your shoulder blocks off, 
Go ahead and find those shoulder blocks. Let's put them back in. And we'll lay all the way down onto our carriage. You can scoot the hips forward and if you prefer to do feet and straps with the head rest up, go ahead and pop it up. We'll grab onto our long loops, give them a good pull, and then take the loops onto the arches of your feet. Okay, once you get here, just give yourself a moment to settle in. You don't have to rush into it. Press down into the backs of the hips and then just let the springs kind of pull you back so you can get a little bit of a release at the hamstrings, at your calves. Good, when you're ready, hands can come down by your sides. You'll exhale, press the feet down toward your springs. Inhale, you can lift the legs so they come back up above the hips. Hmm, my ropes feel a little bit uneven. What's going on there? <laughs> okay, we press it down and you'll bring it up. Let's go for four more. We press down and then take it up. Good, for three. For two. And then last one. Legs come up above the hips. You'll take an inhale, open the feet out towards the sides of the room, and then bring the legs together. Four more big circles like that. We lift up, open, circle down and around. Good, for three. For two. Last one. Good. Okay, we'll reverse the direction. We're doing five total circles. Lowering the feet down through center, we open out to the sides of the room, circle everything around and up. For four more, we press it down. Out, around and up. For three. For two. And then last one. Good, soles of the feet come together. Let's open the knees up nice and wide so you find a butterfly stretch. If your body will let you, bring your feet closer towards the springs, open your knees out that way. If that's not comfortable, grab onto the ropes, give yourself a little bit of an assist, pull those ropes towards you so you can feel, well, I'll give you some options for what you might feel. You might feel more of a stretch at the inner thigh this way. You might feel more of a stretch at the hip. I kind of like this because it helps me to feel like I can open up through my hips and my hip flexors especially, but pick what works for you. Okay, right leg's gonna stay still. Grab onto your left side rope, unfold the left leg out towards the left side of the room, giving your rope a gentle pull, thinking about taking the elbow in towards the rib cage, maybe flexing the foot, pulling toes towards your nose. We'll inhale and then exhale. You can take it back in, same thing on the right. Grab onto that right side rope, open your right leg out, gentle pull back on the rope, pulling the elbow towards the rib cage. Maybe flexing the foot, pulling toes to nose, pushing that heel down. We'll inhale and then exhale, take it back in. Good, from right here, let's bring the knees together and then push the feet up above the hips. Still grabbing onto your ropes. I want you to push your heels up, pull your toes down to your nose. We'll bend through the right knee, push the left heel up and then switch, left knee pulls in, right heel presses up. For two more, we pull in, press up, and then bring it in. Last one. Good. All right, with that last one, we can pull the knees in, grab onto your long loops, and carefully just place them back up onto your pegs or onto your shoulder blocks. Very, very carefully, we'll roll ourselves up to seated. Take any other stretches you feel like you need, but you're all finished with me for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. If you did, as always, please let me know down in the comments. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video.